designed for efficiency, engineered for protection, each a wondrous marvel of nature, shielded once it leaves its source, and protected during transit. Yet once it arrives, well, now it faces an incredible vulnerability to outside influence. Like the egg, a hard drive is designed for efficiency. It's engineered for protection. Each a wondrous marvel of technology, shielded once it leaves its source and protected during transit. Yet once it arrives, it too faces vulnerability to outside influence. And who's there to carry forth that protection? That's easy. It's you. And you. How you handle this precious cargo can have a huge impact on not only your company, customers, and your job, but even the environment. It's your responsibility to provide quality products to your customers. That means products that not only work, but provide quality service over the long haul. The last thing you want is to ship products that could fail weeks, even months down the road. That leads to very unhappy customers. It only takes a few common sense precautions to make a big difference in delivering quality products to your customers which means success for your company, job security for you, and reduced waste. Information is power, and where that information is stored is crucial. Today's hard drives are truly incredible devices. They continue to increase in capacity, speed, and reliability at a very rapid rate. And you can find them everywhere even places where you'd expect them least. Millions of bits of information are being stored on disks spinning at very high speed. The head must move with spectacular precision to write to and read from those disks. And the tolerances that must be maintained between the head and the disk are infinitesimally small. Think about sitting in a 747 flying a mere two feet above the ground and trying to identify individual blades of grass as you pass over them. That's the equivalent of what the head of a hard drive is doing, literally flying less than a millionth of an inch over the disk at high speed, reading and writing data. Compare that tolerance to the thickness of a fingerprint, a dust particle, or a human hair. It's incredibly close. That's why special care must be taken when handling a drive. There is a common myth that a drive is protected from damage if it is not running. This is simply not true. Knocks, drops, and vibrations can cause damage anytime, anywhere. It's just more critical during operation. Dropping or knocking a hard drive can cause the head to slam down on the disc and not only create divots in the platter surface, but could scatter dangerous chunks of debris on the disc if the head comes into contact with that debris as the disc spins, additional damage can occur. So from the moment the drives arrive on your loading dock until they go out the door in the final product, they must be handled with the greatest of care. Don't drop it, don't knock it, and don't stack it. It's easy to see that the intricate mechanical workings of a drive can be highly susceptible to physical mishandling. Treat each one with the proper care it deserves. There's also another very serious enemy out there, static electricity. Every hard drive is controlled by sophisticated electronics which can easily be damaged when exposed to static charges. Not only can the components themselves be damaged, so can the complex network of connections within the circuit board. There are many ways our body can build up static electricity. For example, Simply removing a styrofoam cup can generate as much as 5,000 volts. Bubble wrap, 18,000 volts. Scotch tape can create up to 25,000 volts. And walking across a carpet on a dry day, an amazing 35,000 volts. 
When that current is suddenly discharged from your body to the hard drive, it can cause some serious damage. It can cause breaks in the circuitry, some completely. But if it only causes a partial break, it can cause an annoying intermittency in its operation that you may never even realize. In fact, the drive could pass testing at the factory and shipped as if nothing was wrong. But weeks, even months later, the end user is likely to experience data loss or failure of the product. And that could mean losing critical financial information, precious family photos, or a favorite classic movie. So when handling a drive, be sure to avoid these serious mistakes. So how to avoid damaging the drives during handling? It's easy if you just follow a few simple common sense guidelines. The minute the drives land on the dock, they should be handled with care. And that starts with the forklift operator. Improper handling can easily lead to damage of the drives. Carefully inspect the entire delivery. Look for punctures, liquid damage, or crumpled boxes. Report this to your managers as damage that may have been caused during shipment. When moving drives through the facility, be careful. That includes being sure the forklift doesn't damage the boxes on the pallet. Be aware of dramatic temperature changes when moving from storage to staging. Changes greater than 20 degrees Fahrenheit require that the drives acclimate themselves to avoid condensation damage. They should sit for a minimum of 24 hours before being powered up. When unloading the pallet, always lift and carry one box at a time using both hands and place them gently onto the appropriate staging surface. When kitting, handle one drive at a time and place it into safe, protective packaging for transportation to the work area. When setting up your station for assembly, keep the drives in the Seagate packaging as long as possible. Never store them in non-approved drive staging containers or stack drives on the work surface. This leaves them highly vulnerable to damage during the assembly process. Be sure to allow adequate space in your work area. Keep it clean and organized. Remove excessive tools or hardware. The tools you are going to use, keep them within easy reach. Avoiding electrostatic discharge, or ESD, is critical at every stage within your facility. This means everyone from shippers and receivers to operators, assemblers, and inspectors must protect against it by putting on heel straps or wrist straps. Be sure to make contact with your skin and that it's grounded at all times. Always test their effectiveness at a certified ESD grounding station. Workstations should include ESD conductive floor mats or tiles. Ungrounded carts can also build up a potentially dangerous static charge. Be sure they're properly grounded as well. Always handle the drives with care. When carrying individual drives, only carry one at a time. Remove drives from protective ESD bags or plastic cases one at a time, immediately prior to assembly and be sure to hold them by the sides. Holding it by the top and bottom can put excessive pressure on the housing, and skin oil on the circuit board surface can contribute to corrosion and electrical problems. Set them down gently. Avoid knocking them against shelves or other hardware. And don't put them on their edges or stack them. It's too easy to accidentally knock them over. During assembly, carefully insert the drives into their chassis, avoiding bumps and knocks. Be careful when using tools. One little slip can cause damage that could cause the drive to fail. Be sure to reference the proper torque settings for the drive you are installing. Properly align connectors and never rock them on. It can cause damage to the pins and housing. And never make the connection when the drive is under power. Don't place stickers or labels over the drive's breather port. It could contribute to overheating issues when in operation. And finally, if your job includes removing a drive from an operational component, disconnect the power and wait at least 10 seconds. It's important to wait for the drive to spin down completely and the heads to park safely. Should drives require shipment back to Seagate, be sure to only use Seagate-approved packaging. Without this proper packaging, 
drives could be damaged and unusable for analysis or complete refund. Seagate puts a lot of engineering expertise, technology, and pride into every drive that leaves our factory. That's why we care about our products once they leave us. You play a very important role in that process. While we offer high quality drives designed to withstand normal operational conditions, you're handling them when they're the most vulnerable during assembly. Remember, Seagate does not cover return claims caused by mishandling or improper return packaging. Seagate also offers extensive tools and operator training materials to aid in the proper care and handling of Seagate drives. This includes C-Tools, a comprehensive, easy-to-use diagnostic tool that helps you quickly determine a drive's condition before shipment back to Seagate. A little knowledge coupled with common sense can make a big difference in the quality of your products, and that means happier customers all around.